Have you ever wondered why it feels like you can push or pull way more weight on a machine than you can with free weights? So let's start with the big question. Can you really lift more weight with machines than with free weights? The short answer is yes, but there's a good reason for it. Your muscles aren't equally strong throughout a movement. Think about a bicep curl. At the very bottom, when your arm is straight, you're weaker. In the middle, when your elbow is at about 90 degrees, you're stronger. And as you curl up towards the top, you get weaker again. That's called the muscle force curve, the natural changes in strength at different angles of a lift. Now here's where machines come in. Back in the 1970s, Arthur Jones, the creator of Nautilus, designed a unique feature called the cam. Instead of using a simple pulley, the cam was shaped in a way that adjusted resistance throughout the entire range of motion. That meant the machine could match your muscle's natural strength curve. Heavier when you're stronger, lighter when you're weaker. This made the exercise feel smoother, and it allowed you to push harder through the whole movement. So again, I ask you, have you ever noticed how the weight stack on a machine feels easier to move than a barbell or dumbbells? Well, here's why. Like I said, muscle force curve. Your muscles aren't equally strong throughout a lift. You're stronger in some positions and weaker in others. Arthur Jones Cam Design. Machines like Nautilus use a specially shaped cam that changes resistance throughout the movement, matching your natural strength curve. That's why the exercise feels smoother and lets you move more weight. The Mental Edge. With machines, you don't worry about a bar crashing down. That safety makes you more confident and more likely to push harder. So when you step onto one of these machines, the resistance feels more in tune with your muscles. You can grind through the reps without being stopped by that one weak spot in the lift. That's why people often feel like they can move heavier loads on machines compared to free weights. The resistance is optimized for your body's natural leverage points. Here's a simple visualization of how Arthur Jones Nautilus Cam works. So the blue line, this equals your muscle strength curve. Your strongest in the mid range, weaker at the start and end. The orange dashed line, this is a traditional pulley or weight stack, which keeps resistance consistent. The green line, the cam which changes leverage so the resistance varies to better match your strength curve. That's why Nautilus machines felt so different. The resistance followed your muscle's natural ability. There's also a mental side to this. When you're under a heavy barbell, there's always that fear in the back of your mind, what if I fail? What if the bar comes down on me? With machines, that fear disappears. The safety rails, fixed path and controlled motion make you feel secure. And when you feel safe, you're more confident, which means you're willing to push closer to your limits. So in short, machines don't just adjust to your muscles, they adjust to your mindset. So yes, you can often lift more on machines than free weights. Between the science of the muscle force curve the engineering of Arthur Jones Cam, and the mental confidence of safety, it all adds up. But remember, both machines and free weights have their place in training. Machines can let you overload muscles safely, while free weights build stability and coordination. The best results usually come from a mix of both. Now, I want to hear what you guys think. Do you prefer lifting on machines or free weights? Drop your answer in the comments below. So one person mentioned in a comment on one of my last videos that Arthur Jones did not design the cam. From my research, eh, I found that he did. Yes, Arthur Jones is credited with inventing the Nautilus cam in the late 1960s. So before Jones, weight machines used pulleys and simple lever arms, which provided a fixed resistance throughout the whole movement that didn't match how muscles actually work. Jones observed that muscles are not equally strong through a lift. 
You're weaker at some points, like with the bottom of a curl, and stronger at others, near the mid-range. To solve this, he designed the Nautilus cam shaped somewhat like a seashell, hence Nautilus, to vary the lever arm throughout the movement. The result? Resistance changes to match the muscle's force curve, heavier when you're stronger, lighter when you're weaker. That innovation combined with Jones' high-intensity training philosophy is what made Nautilus explode in popularity during the 70s. So, yes, Arthur Jones invented the cam, and it was the defining feature that set Nautilus machines apart from all other gym equipment of the time. Bottom line, you usually lift more with machines, but again, free weights challenge your stability. The best training is often a combination of the two. But again, let me know, do you like machines better or free weights? Thanks again for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you like this video. Again, leave a comment, like, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks. Shaped somewhat like a she cell. Shaped somewhat like a she ah, she cell. Shaped somewhat like a she seashell.